Ukraine's 3rd Separate Assault Brigade launched a counterattack in Kharkiv Oblast and advanced almost 2 square kilometers deep into the front line area, the brigade said. As a result of counterattack actions, the brigade took control of the battalion defense area of the occupiers, enemy platoon, company strongholds and advanced almost 2 square kilometers into the front. The assault operations prevented the enemy's attack from the direction of Makievka and relieved tension from other critical frontline areas in the neighboring brigade zones, the brigade said. The main objective of the operation was to knock down the offensive potential of the 20th Army of the Russian Federation. At the moment, this task has been accomplished, brigade commander, Colonel Andrei Bailetsky said. The ratio of forces on the battlefield, 2.5 to 1 in favor of the enemy. Plus hostile support forces. It is noted that in four days, the enemy lost 300 horsepower in manpower, and a significant amount of equipment and weapons were destroyed or damaged. The uniqueness of the deal was that we attacked a superior enemy and won. Success depended on detailed planning, unconventional solutions, coordinated work of artillery, air defense, BPS and reconnaissance. But the heroes of the battlefield were tankers, sappers, scouts and, first of all, attack aircraft, the brigade commander said. Information about the operation has not been disclosed until now for security reasons. The assault actions diverted the enemy's attack in the direction of Makievka and relieved tension from other critical sections of the front in the areas of neighboring brigades. Now the occupiers are increasing the use of aviation, MLRS and long-range artillery. The enemy is trying to regain what was lost. But the third assault holds the lines. The main aim of the operation was to bring down the offensive potential of the 20th Army of the Russian Federation. At the moment, this task has been accomplished, Brigade Commander Bailetsky said. The 3rd Separate Assault Brigade is known to have been operating around the village of Barova in Kharkiv Oblast, as it reported the thwarting of a Russian attempt to make a breakthrough in the area in early July. Ukraine wants peace talks, but their likely scheme excludes direct talks with Putin, writes the influential American publication Politico, emphasizing that the Ukrainian army's invasion of Russia strengthens Kiev's position in the issue of peace talks. They can be held even in conditions when the Kremlin refuses to send its diplomats to face-to-face -face meetings, the journalists emphasize. The model for a peace pact increasingly discussed in Kiev has its roots in a July 2022 agreement that allowed Ukraine to resume grain exports through the Black Sea. Under that diplomatic format, Russia and Ukraine worked on separate agreements under the supervision of the UN and Turkey as mediators without a direct agreement between Moscow and Kiev. Turkey makes no secret of its desire to once again act as a mediator in reaching a peace agreement. In Kyiv, they believe that the lightening attack on the Kursk region has strengthened Ukraine's position in the negotiations. In the Kursk region, we clearly see how a military instrument is being used to convince Russia to enter into an honest negotiation process, said Mykhailo Podolyak, advisor to the head of the office of the president of Ukraine. However, Putin insists that he is not in the mood for negotiations. The Black Sea model could help break this impasse, two senior officials told Politico. This is the plan we are striving for, said an official close to the Ukrainian president's office, speaking on condition of anonymity. At the core of what Ukraine wants is a 10-point plan developed by President Volodymyr Zelensky in 2022. Now that format has been accelerated, the head of the president's office and Zelensky's top foreign policy official, Andriy Yermak, said 10 working groups, including ambassadors and experts, are being created to develop action plans and deadlines. Yermak also cited the Black Sea deal as an example of a potential format. We did not negotiate with Russia. We negotiated with Turkey and the UN, and they negotiated with Russia. It was a success. 
The corridor operated for a year. There were many problems, but it worked. We must admit this. A similar format can be used again, but Kyiv has a long way to go. It must develop a joint peace plan with countries that have agreed to help it implement the three initial points of the peace formula agreed upon at the first peace summit in Switzerland.